Chadwick Boseman passed away yeah. um, after having terminal cancer for years. There was a bunch of articles that recently came out saying that he did not have a will. Yes, his wife just filed for probate. Instead of having a will, he got married to his wife um, in 2020, a couple of months before he passed away. He had about a million dollars in assets. He has no kids and he has two parents. So the wife gets everything. Wife gets everything. So also in the TMZ probate document that they found, it mentions like that he has trusts and everything. I didn't understand what that means. Does his wife most likely inherit these trusts? And like, did he set up the trust most likely because he knew he had cancer? Or do you think that it was the trust was set up because Disney paid him in a trust? Is that ever a thing that happens? So my reading of it, it, it sounded like it didn't sound like she said that there's a trust, but it sounded like TMZ was postulating because I guess the the thought is there's no way that his total net worth was only around a million dollars. Gotcha. There's just no way. Gotcha. So there has to be something else out there, and we're just not sure what it is. So he very well could have gone out and established a trust on his, on his own. He could have done and, lots of yeah. – And that might make sense because a lot of – so as an actor, you know, you're getting your, your royalty payments. You're getting, you know, a percentage of everything that involves your image. So – a lot of that is going to continue to pay money, so it would make sense for him to set up a trust to to manage that as a continuing income-producing asset. So that million might just be the stuff he had that wasn't in the trust set up already yeah. to be taken care of. Gotcha. Yeah. So he most likely made a plan, and um, but it just he just didn't have a will as a part of that plan. Yes, for some reason he decided right. not to have a will as part of his plan. He could have also had a will, then got married, which renders. Typically, most wills written in anticipation of marriage are rendered oh, void by the marriage. That's a great point. Um, so, oh, okay. So, so maybe he, he might have gotten married to intentionally that. replace the will. Yeah. Or, Honestly, the great takeaway for that is when you get married, make a plan to like update your will because, like, oh, yeah. or I guess do yeah. it right away. Yeah, I remember being super shocked, like when so I upsetting. No. He was phenomenally talented, and everything about him that I heard is that he was just like a really good dude. Yes. And the fact that he did all those movies and did that good of a job while sick. Yeah. Yeah, could you imagine? I can't oh believe my goodness. No, I can't do work when I have like a cold. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, if oh. I had a terminal illness, I would be so whiny. I mean, I looked, I was looking at his like IMDb and like he was, I mean, he was in a ton of stuff, but like really, I mean, his big breakout was, was Black Panther. Yeah. And like oh, yeah. it was. I don't know to to think about it in that context, right? Where it's like, great, like he he probably got he auditioned, got that role like after his diagnosis, yeah. right? Like that is a crazy like. Yeah. I almost mm-hmm. wonder if there was a part of him that didn't want that to detract from the character. Oh yeah, I'm I sure. Think, I think he realized like what an important oh, yeah. character what like Black Panther was mm-hmm. for for everybody, especially for people of color. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm sure. I'm so sure he, if he had said he had cancer, that's all people would say about him whenever he did that yeah. thing. It's like, oh look, he was Black Panther with cancer. Yeah, <laughs> right. And in, in the meantime, we got these like massive movies where like Black Panther was just like a total badass. Right? Yeah. And then later on, we're like, oh wait, what? Yeah. No, yeah. you're totally right. I mean, thinking about it from the other perspective, where yeah, he he leads with that, and then yeah, those movies before they even came out, like you'd have to like sit there and be like, wow, I can't believe he's doing this with cancer, and like because that didn't happen, like you just got to just enjoy the movie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Guys, thanks so much for watching this episode of Let's Talk About Death and Taxes. If you enjoyed this, uh, definitely let us know in the comments. Guys, our law firm is focused on setting people up and helping them out with legacy preservation, anything involving last wills, trusts, and estate planning. Um, We also created a PDF, um, and that's linked in the comments below, and uh, James is going to tell you about it. Yeah, so we went ahead and put together a brief PDF format pamphlet, and this is a primer for somebody who is new to thinking about estate planning. It's going to tell you what it is, and it's also going to go through three common mistakes that people make when they think about estate planning, and it's going to be titled something like that. (laughs) So go ahead and check it out. Uh, It's pretty accessible, and read it over. If you have any questions or if it makes you think about anything, give us a call. See if we can help you out. Yeah, you can also work with us straight away if you give us a call at 404-939-7562 or send us an email at info at modernestateplanning.com. Guys, also, if you could share this video on your timeline, that seriously helps us out. Guys, have a great day. Thanks so much for watching.